Okay, we have a good one here today from MIT 2022, regular season number 14. We've got the sum from two to infinity of the integral from zero to infinity, x minus one times x to the n over all this stuff, dx. Okay, I was really struggling with the first step on this one. I wasn't sure how I wanted to factor it. It's kind of, it's kind of confusing looking. Maybe the n's don't help. Let's just deal with the factoring before we do anything. If I multiply out the numerator, what's gonna happen? Then we get x to the n plus one minus x to the n. In the denominator, let's just leave this first part. So we have one plus x to the n here. In here, we can actually factor out, let's factor out this. So if I factor out x to the n plus one on this, we get one plus, this other term is just gonna become an x to the n. But now notice we've got this one plus x to the n in common. So what we can do is rewrite this denominator and factor that out. So this is gonna become one plus x to the n times, this becomes one plus x to the n plus one, all over this stuff here. But now what I wanna do is try to create cancellation. To get this term, I can just add a one on here. I don't wanna change it, so let's subtract off one. But then in order to try to get cancellation with this term, all you need to do is kind of write this differently. Think about like factoring out a minus one, then this becomes x to the n plus one. So then if we split up this fraction on the minus sign, what's gonna happen is with the first one, everything in, everything in the numerator is gonna cancel out. So like the first fraction is gonna be just one over one plus x to the n because we're canceling this piece. And then in this one, this is gonna cancel here. We're gonna end up with one over one plus x to the n plus one. But now we've got a very different looking expression. Let's take this thing right here, plug it back into our integral and see if we can integrate this. But now for both these integrals here, you may recognize this. This is something I've done a couple times in recent videos. We had one that was zero to infinity dx over one plus x to the 2024. And notice that both these integrals are in exactly that form. But I did something, I tried to get a more general formula. If we have something like x to the, x to the s minus one, one plus x to the, let's say a to the b, this is how I had it in another video. Well, we had a formula for this thing based on all these components. There was a lot of restrictions on it, but the basic formula is this thing. But notice the scenario we're dealing with here and here is actually quite a bit simpler because the b value is just one in this here. There's no exponent around it. And then in order to get a one in the denominator, you just have S equals one. So this formula is gonna simplify quite a bit. Let's just look at that. And then doing this with the S value equal to one, the B value equal to one. Now we just have one over A times something expressed in terms of the gamma function, but we can simplify this more because now if you add up these two inputs here, they add up to one. So this tells us we can use Euler's reflection formula that we have over here to get this a little more manageable. So what's gonna happen is we can rewrite this as one over a using this pi sine pi, where the input on this is one over a, so I can write this as sine pi over a. But now we've got a nice formula we can use for both these integrals, so let's do the integral part on this. So for this whole thing, we're still gonna be within this sum from n equals two to infinity. The a value in the formula is just n here, and here it's gonna be n plus one. So what we're gonna have here is gonna be just pi over n sine pi over n minus pi n plus one now sine pi over n plus one. Now writing it like this, you can see why it's important that we're starting our series here at two, because if you started at one sine of pi is zero, you're dividing by zero, the whole thing blows up. So this is important. Now for the next step, let's just actually expand this out and write out some terms and see what's happening on this thing. And then writing it out, what we notice is we can start doing some cancellation like right here, this term is the same thing as this term, so we can do cancellation there. This is exactly the same as this, cancel that, that's a zero. This cancels, and this is just gonna keep going like this to the end. So this is a telescoping series, but there's one important difference from a lot of the telescoping series we deal with. Usually when we look at the last terms as the ends are approaching infinity, these terms are gonna be going to zero. If you notice, if you just look at this limit, of what happens as n is going to infinity of this thing, and I'll write it a little bit differently. We'll write it as pi over n over sine pi over n. Well, you'll notice that each of these terms here individually, these are going to zero. 
So for this limit, it's gonna be really similar to, let's say, x going to zero, because this thing in both cases is gonna be going to zero. So this is gonna be just like x sine x. But this is the same thing if we just flip it as the limit as x goes to zero of sine x over x. And this is a well-known limit that's just equal to one. So the limit on this thing is actually not zero, it's one. When this happens, typically you'd be worried about the convergence, but remember it's both these together. So like even though both these are going to one, it's like one minus one. So getting a solution for this telescoping series, I just need to redo this a little more carefully with a limit on it, just so that we can see what's happening at the end. Okay, so now writing this out as a limit, now we can take a look at our last few terms here. Again, the same thing that we saw on the previous board, all these terms in the middle are gonna cancel. So like I just wrote out one term here, this pi over three term, but all this stuff's gonna cancel here. And then even for this one here, this is gonna cancel with something over here. But then looking at the terms as k goes to infinity, this one's gonna cancel here. And so all we're gonna be left with is just the first term and the last term. Now in this first term, sine of pi over two is gonna just be one. So that goes away and we're just left with pi over two on this one. This right here is the same limit we just did. I mean, we've got k plus one on it, but that's not gonna matter when we're going to infinity. So we just determined that the limit on this thing is gonna be one, but we've got this minus sign out front. So all we need to do is put together those last two terms. And for the final solution list, we just get pi over two minus one. Okay, there you go. Good problem today from MIT 2022. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.